Hello folks, Mr. Van Leader here, Black Ops 2 here, and yeah, me playing, what is it, Headquarters, no, Hardpoint on Hijacked. Um, yeah, obviously haven't done a lot of videos for this uh, game, and there is a very good reason, uh, and that is I can't be arsed. Um, but there's also another very good reason, and that is uh, I've struggled to get footage for this game on sort of... YouTube-worthy gameplay, I hesitate to use that term, uh, but yeah, the uh, skill-based matchmaking system makes it fairly difficult to uh, get gameplays, uh, I'll go on to more of that later, but I do really like this game, uh, I like the, the guns in it, I like you know the game modes, uh, some of the maps are really good, um, although there's some really bad ones too, um, I like the whole uh, score streak uh, setup what not but you have to be you know playing the objective and you get more points rather than sitting at the back and it will be a lot slower for you that's very cool um, I'm running at the low score streaks in this game uh, it was during my first prestige uh, quite early days um, and you can see that a couple of times I don't know where the hard points are and stuff um, which is a slight failure as I boost with that guy let him cap the hard point and get another 300 points uh, go and call me kill streaks in so yeah I, I like a lot about it it feels I don't know it feels like um, the original Black Ops uh, which I enjoyed very much um, but with a sort of the map design um, lends itself to a, a higher paced sort of game um, more like uh, Infinity Ward uh, Call of Duty um, which is all good uh, it's a combination I enjoy so uh, brilliant um, as these guys have this hard point and we have this spawn just right outside here which seems like an unfair spawn for them to have um, I'm not sure that lag was in theatre mode um, yeah so uh, you know generally all good uh, but the very fact of getting uh, YouTubeable, upload-worthy games, uh, very difficult indeed, go prone and dodge the betting, uh, very difficult indeed um, because of the skill-based matchmaking, and I'm not, I, I'm not sure how the skill, I haven't looked into it, uh, I haven't, you know, read Infinity Ward calling a UAV when there's a counter, good move, I haven't read the Infinity Ward forums or the Twitter or the, even the Treyarch one, which probably helped me more being the uh, right developer, um, but I haven't read any of that. Um, so I don't I don't know if they've given a technical explanation as to how it's supposed to work, but it seems like it, it matches you up in brackets based on your skill level. Um, I'm not sure whether it's your, your SPM, your KD, possibly. Um, I'd say the SPM is more likely um, because it, it seems like it's something harder to fake. But yeah, I I honestly don't know, so I'm not going to speculate there. Hard points downstairs, you fool. Um, uh, I'm not going to speculate, but for whatever reason, um, the lobbies that I get in this game are much, much, much more difficult than the standard lobby in any previous Call of Duty game. Uh, and that's fine, I haven't got any problem with that in principle, because uh, whilst it is very good fun to destroy the scrubby dubby newbie people, um, understand that if you're a scrubby dubby newbie person, it's probably not so much fun to be destroyed by uh, a full party of uh, people like me who have a YouTube YouTube channel and obviously care rather too much about a video game. Um, so I understand that, it's, it's fine, it's all good. The problem comes uh, when there's a lot of people playing this game are, um, well, uh, douchebags, I, I believe is the, the correct term, I mean it's the most played uh, video game, multiplayer, online video game series in history, um, so you can understand that uh, there's going to be a higher proportion of dickheads playing it than uh, well, uh, some other less popular games which may have a stronger, uh, more tightly knit community with a sense of fair play. Uh, but many of the people who uh, think they're good at this game are also the same people who uh, get into my lobbies, uh, because uh, they, they are better than average at the game, uh, but they're the kind of people that leave every game, um, like halfway through. Like you, you start beating them and you start... Uh, you know, you're, you're halfway through domination and your team's called a couple of the orbital VSATs in and, you know, maybe some of the other heavier kill streaks. Everyone just leaves, like, oh, I'm not risking my KD on this game, I'm just gone. So you end up, like, in a, a ground war, supposedly 9v9 game type, um, ending at the end of the first half of domination or, you know, ending during the second half or there's one guy left in the game and you're everyone's just running right we're calling in constant blackbirds just to find this poor sucker who's the only guy that refuses to leave and you just wish he'd leave because then the game would end you could get in another one but I played last night I think 
I think we had like a, it wasn't a huge party, we were playing Grand War, only four or five people, and uh, we won five games of uh, Grand War domination, like by default, by default, by however you say it, uh, the enemy forfeited, um, so yeah, we, we got five wins in a row, but it wasn't very good fun. Oh, by the way, um, watch this, right, there's a guy in there, secure the hard point, and then, no, no, okay, it's, it's, in a, it's momentarily. Um, there's a, a nice, a nice player though. I imagine Lady Luck was shining fairly uh, warmly upon me when it when it happened. Um, so I rush in here. The guy dies, um, and uh, oh no, shock charge is coming, and I decide to reload. And that reload was a very good move because um, I don't think that would have happened if I I didn't. So I went from having zero kill streaks to having all my kill streaks uh, with. A quad spray off the hard point and then capping the very same hard point, which was um, yeah, that was enjoyable. I um, I whooped to myself uh, at that time. Um, yeah, so running the low streaks. What do I think about the streaks in this game? Well, they're they're all right. I like um, the stealth chopper's good. It's enjoyable. The um, VSAT's good. My favourite one. Um, yeah, there's some. Some of these guys are really bad. You see, occasionally you get into this kind of lobby where these guys, you can just turn on them and they're idiots and stuff. You can just run around their spawn and confuse them. But it, it's very rare that that happens. The much more likely you find the people who insta-kill you. Um, and, you know, you can sort of sweat it out for, you know, a reasonable score, but you're sweating it out for a reasonable score and then you get your big kill streak, and then everyone leaves. It's just really frustrating. So... Another reason to run the lower kill streak. If you call a load star in, everyone leaves. If you call a swarm in, um, it'll get two kills because everyone leaves. Um, it's yeah. I mean that, that's frustrating. I think this is. It's probably not the Call of Duty game that people leave more than any other previous Call of Duty game. Uh, but the people that I'm playing against, uh, that's the case. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'd, I'm sure if you're watching this channel, you're probably quite similar. You probably got uh, probably decent at the game yourself. Um, so I imagine you end up frustrated by some of the people you have to play against. And again, it's not a criticism that well, I don't want the games to be competitive. Um, well, sometimes I don't want the games to be competitive, but look at this guy. Um, sometimes I don't want that to happen. Um, but you know, for the most part, I've got no problem with a competitive game. But a game that you play competitively and then I stay in and I'm going 16 for 16 and uh, someone on my team calls a blackbird in and then suddenly everyone on the other team dashboards it's like well no wonder you you know no wonder you've got a good score on this game if you're just gonna hit the dash every time uh, it, it starts going sideways or leave the game every time it starts getting a bit difficult I stay in till the end go 16 for 16 and feel miserable about myself um, so yeah that side of it is extremely frustrating and has been the reason why there's been not much footage um, because there's there's not much footage um, what else to talk about how much time have I got left? I really don't know. I've just been nattering away. Oh, I suppose I've got a minute left. I saw a thing in the paper today. You got the um, the Sandy Hook High School shooting, obviously um, tragic event. Um, and I saw a thing in our paper here in. Uh, if you don't know, I'm in the UK, England. Um, so I saw a thing uh, in a couple of our papers this week that were linking uh, the the perpetrator, um, the criminal who uh, went and killed all these people at the school, um, saying that he was a loner who played Call of Duty in his bedroom, um, in his in a, no in a, in a basement lair. They said it was describing he played Call of Duty in a basement lair, and. I mean, obviously it's happened again, uh, video games taking the flack for uh, some psychopaths. That, I mean, what, what can you do? What's the alternative? Um, I understand why Americans aren't crazy about the thought of uh, gun control, or a lot of them aren't, given that, well, there's a lot of guns sort of already available in America. It's not like... Uh, European countries where we've sort of had a history of gun control and therefore no one's really got guns, criminals or or otherwise. I mean, it's a, a pretty rare thing. Um, so I understand why they're not against, uh, they're not necessarily for that, but it's it's very strange that uh, a video game's taking more flack than sort of guns and ammo for, for, for this uh, tragedy. Um, just seems to me like uh, it's... A very easy, very, very easy target, and 
I, I just don't see what there is to be achieved from it. I don't know how I survived there. I don't sponge a lot in this game. That's one thing that I miss from the original blobs. Um, sorry, just to, you know, bring the commentary up to a level that you're probably more comfortable with. Um, anyway, that's uh, actually quite a close game. Uh, 158 to 139. I went 51 and... Ooh, 52 and 11. Hooray. Uh, I've been Mr. Van Leader. Please rate, comment, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. See ya.